I love being an introvert during COVID. And as the world starts opening up again, I'm getting a bit anxious. The need to go out. Hi, I'm David, and I'm an introvert. I enjoy being alone, but don't mistake alone for lonely. They're two separate things. Because being an introvert, I get my energy from being alone, in solitude. That essentially is what an introvert is. Introverts gain energy by being alone. Extroverts gain energy by being around people. It's really about energy levels. How come you're so quiet? Are you okay? It's an all too common question that I get from people. For a while, I didn't know how to respond. But how could people understand when I couldn't even understand myself? Well, sometimes it's because the group is too big. And it's not that something is wrong. It's just that I'm drained from all that socializing. I just need time to rest. I'm okay. I really am. But thank you so much for asking. When I was young, people used to call me shy because I never spoke up in class or in big group environments. And for a while, I believed that as well. And so I continued to play the role of a shy boy. And that shy boy became a shy adult. A shy adult stuck in a loud, loud, corporate world. The traditional corporate world can be tough for introverts. It's really built for extroverts. It feels like a competition of who can be the loudest. And I felt the pressure to be loud as well. But I realized that it wasn't me. I wasn't being my true self. Something felt off. And then I read a book that changed my perspective on being an introvert. I read Susan Cain's *Quiet*. I learned that I was an introvert, and that being an introvert is my superpower. That it was really about my energy levels. There are actually many so-called famous, successful introverts. You just might not see them in the big, bright spotlight. And ultimately, it's really about understanding and making the most out of who you truly are. Your strengths as an introvert, which ultimately leads to fulfillment and happiness. When you can be your true self. And so I understood why I hated certain situations, like clubbing. I would always leave a club. After 30 minutes to get some fresh air, and wander the streets, hoping to never return, until a friend would text me, "Hey David, where you at?" It was because my energy was completely drained from being stuck inside with people and loud music. But being an introvert does not mean being antisocial. I actually love spending time with people. I would say that I'm a people person. In small groups, that is, preferably two to three people. Outdoors or in a quiet, relaxing space, over a good conversation, and preferably with people that I like, whose values align with mine. And small talk, yeah, small talk. I can do small talk. 
but I don't really like it. I mean, yes, it's necessary, but there's only so much you can say about the weather, your clothes, or the newest restaurant on the block. I want to talk about what you care about, what's important to you, your story, where you came from, your dreams. Again, I am a people person, just not too many people, all at once, and being alone is not the same as being lonely. I moved to Amsterdam right before COVID, and then COVID hit. I was alone, but not lonely. And in many ways, I had this excuse to not go out and socialize. I stayed at home, I read, I read, and I read some more. I meditated my worries away, I journaled every day. I listened to podcasts while cooking and cleaning, bought a set of weights and worked out. I learned how to make videos and started to learn Spanish. I biked around the city and back and all around the parks and forests. And I walked around the canals of Amsterdam all day and all night. Amsterdam is a beautiful place for introverts, especially during COVID. I finally learned how to be alone and it's taught me so many lessons about myself, about self-awareness. It's taught me how to value who I am as a person, what I enjoy, what I hate doing, who my friends are, and that it's really about quality over quantity, and that it's okay to not do what everyone else is doing. But sometimes, it's a bit scary if I'm honest. Being alone and independent, I do need to remind myself that I do want and need good people in my life as well. Because when I was younger, I didn't know how to be alone. I remember in college, it was exams week and I was hungry and I wanted to eat in the cafeteria, but I didn't have anyone to eat with. So instead, I bought a sandwich, brought it to my room, and ate alone. I was afraid of eating alone in the cafeteria. I was afraid of eating alone in public. We've all grown up in a society that tends to favor loudness and always being on, doing something. But I want you to know that alone is not the same as lonely, and that not all introverts are built alike as well. I hope you don't mistake me for being shy if I decide to just listen and not talk. I hope you don't mistake me for being antisocial if I decide to leave the party early. And that we are all very different and unique as people. How come you're so quiet? My name is David, and I'm an introvert. Thank you for thinking of me. I really am okay. I love spending time alone, but I'm not lonely. I prefer reading a book or watching a movie over going out to a club or party. And no, I'm not shy. I actually prefer having a good conversation with a few good people. That to me is one of the most energizing parts of life. But sometimes I just need my alone time. My alone time to recharge my batteries because I'm an introvert and I love being an introvert.